Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the basics of how to do a good primary color correction using DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come down to our primary wheels display. We see our color wheels and then we have lift, gamma, and gain. And then we look over here on the right and I have my parade display um, activated. And then I look at my picture in the viewer. So I can see here that there's a lot of red and green in the low lights. And I can see this here reflected in the scopes. So we always want to look at the scopes, look at the picture, and then that gives us an idea of what we want to do. So what I'm going to do first is balance the lift area of the picture, bring it up like so, and then bring the level down. And then just once I get down to the bottom, I just touch it up a bit and then bring the level even further down like so. So now I'm getting closer to there and then let's just keep balancing it there. So it's, that's good. Now we don't want to go down too far because if we go down too far, you see the blacks are crushed. We want to go just to the edge like so. And now what we want to do is take the gain and bring it up. We don't want to go up too much. This is a little bit brighter than the material wants to be. We bring it down a bit. Now, as you can see here, I've got a lot of red in the highlights or the light areas of the picture. And there's a little lacking of blue in there. So what I want to do here is take my gain color control and then move this up like so. And now the picture is already looking better. And then I just adjust this until it starts to look the way I want it to. Now I do, now I come over to the gamma control and now use the gamma color control for adjusting my look. So as you can see, if I want a warmer look, greener look, a cooler look, I want to go somewhere in between, something like that. And then using the um, wheel here, then, or on my control panel, this would be the ring around the joy ball. We just turn this either counterclockwise for a more denser image or clockwise for a thinner image. So what we do is once we get it into there, now we have our good grading for this picture and we're all set to go. So for more tips and tricks like this, have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to have a look at the link in the comments below for more information about our training services. Thanks a lot.